I was really looking forward to coming to this place that we're in, this building. Even before I got into the building, I could feel a really strong vibration of activity here. Every time I walk in the front door, I feel like I go to a different time period. But I believe that whoever chose the decor and the furniture and the wallpaper were guided to do so because it was like an effort to turn this back into a completely different time period. This is a fabulous place. It has antique furniture with wood. Now wood holds a lot of vibration and you can get a lot out of the wood. And I didn't feel it was anything that would be uh, disturbing really, or mostly, uh, or upsetting. As some places we've investigated, this really felt like a merry good time here. I'm having a hard time understanding what's going on because it seems like there's a procession of people um, but I can't really make them out. It's just blobs of people just standing there. So they're either here to watch us, me, one of the other mediums, or they're just here just because. Um, but now they're going back upstairs. hear like chatter from upstairs and there's somebody talking to me in my ear I'm not sure what they're saying um, it's all just like hey somebody who understands us like let's get all this information out like they're from different time periods they're from different places in their life they're all just kind of here and like it's almost like, hey, we finally found people that can see us. And let's figure out a way to get our, our message across. There's a um, lot of energy here. Um, the energy is not a lot of spirits, but it's a strong spirit energy that's here. I was really drawn down here. You know, I just left that room, and all of a sudden I felt I had to come down here. And I'm going to show you something very interesting, why I had to come down here. Look what I found. Completely boarded off. Look at this stairway. Where does it go? And why was I brought down here? There's no opening. Oh my gosh. That's the attic. Now look at it carefully. Oh my god, it's a wall. That's what I was going to show you. I freaking expected a door. Well, of course, there's a staircase to it. You said it was an attic. Yeah, it's an attic. I mean, in my head, it's an attic. I also felt that there were children here, and I had wondered to myself, whoever owned this building, if they lived in the building besides having it as a hotel for other people to be here. Uh, not only guests were here. I really felt like there was a family vibration that lived here. And because I heard the children, I heard children running up and down the stairs and laughing. And these were not guest children. These really felt like children that lived in this location. The second impression, that I've always gotten is children, and lots of them. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a school or um, a place where people had events, but I feel like there were lots of children. Like I don't know how many kids used to be here, but I get the I get the sense that like there's like young restless souls, and I keep kept hearing the words "come play." Uh, and just seeing things out of the corner of my eye, like especially by the piano, like something just wants to like hide under the piano and run up and down the stairs. One of the spirits that I feel that is still in this building, now they, I don't feel they're trapped here. I don't think that we have to worry about, can't they go out? I really look at it as a, a dimension air place. It's a rather large man, a portly man and he's got the vest on and the, the watch here, uh, suit on, and he goes from floor to floor, room to room, and I really felt him 
in my room. I mean, I was really strong and I was saying to myself, you can't stay the night with me. <laughs> I really don't want you here. But he's not interested in staying the night or spooking anybody. He's going from room to room to make sure everything's done right. Yeah, I felt like there was something in here now when I came in. Well, like I said, I have that tingly feeling when I feel other energies. I think this one was male. I'm not entirely sure who he was to the place, but he feels like he owns it, runs it, uh, he feels like he belongs. Instantaneously, I got someone who might be a little rotund. I believe he was either the original owner or he was the owner after or a manager. He was someone very important. It's when I walked in, I smelt cigar smoke. Now this is a smoke-free building. There is no smoke here, but I could smell cigar smoke right away. That this is a place people came. I could hear dishes clinking. I could hear people talking. Uh, I knew there had to be a dining room. Now I've never been here before. This is completely new to me. And I was being walked through saying, well, this is the parlor and, and off to this, and this is the dining room. And I said, there's the dining room. I was really happy to see it, but in my mind, in my meditation, this was a larger place and I could see the many people and they were dressed like the turn of the century, of the 20th century. There is a beautiful woman here and she's she has the long dress on with the kind of, I don't know if they're called mutton sleeves and the long down here like that and her hair is up kind of in the Gibson look. Uh, she she just kind of drifts around here, and it's so funny. We hear about ghosts drifting around. She actually drifts. Uh, I don't really see that often. She drifts around here, and she comes as a greeter. And there was I I, I think she lived here forever. I don't think she just came on occasion. She may have came on occasion in the beginning, but she's here. There is whiffs of um, floral from her too. Well, she just came in. That's why. That's why I'm getting more now from her. And and greeting people. And she had a longing when she passed from this world. She longed to come back to where she loved in San Francisco. She longed to be a part of society. So I think society came here. There was a young chambermaid. I think she might have been Irish. She was 19, 20, 21. Uh, she feels very nervous, like she's doing the right job. No doubt this portly man was on her case. I know she died. I don't know if she died on this location or here. I have a feeling she died in her room somewhere else out of this building, but she came back here. It's a questionable about her death. The police said it was by her own hand. She tells me it was not by her own hand. And there is the mystery. She shows me a young man. She tells me he dresses with grays and stripes down his suit, and then he follows her from the hotel. He worked at the hotel also. Her name was Agnes. I think she wants comfort. I, I, I feel like she just wants comfort, like a, someone who's scared and wants comfort. And she works mostly, she's not up here as much. She's with me now because I can communicate with her. I see her down by the kitchen more. I see her down in the laundry room. I'm not sure what it is, but there was something like as I was sitting down, something was peeking around the corner. It seemed like a little bit, a little bit younger of an energy and it was just, it, it wasn't the same thing that kept saying let's play. Um, so when I walked down there, there was, there was pretty much just like a couple, couple little, little balls of energy like walking back and forth and then something like all the way at the end of the hallway just standing there. All I've ever felt is just this warm, inviting, you know, I, I even see this woman who kind of welcomes you in and I, and I think she might be with the children. She might be of that time period, turn the century, hair up, everything's buttoned up and in place, and, and there's etiquette, and there's teaching, and there's um, just a welcoming, welcoming, loving, nurturing feeling from her. Now, all in all, it's a really clean, nice place, and there's a lot of merriment, and I would certainly come back here. 
So I would say all in all, this is a really good place to come. I will definitely come back and I will bring friends with me. And I will bring other psychic friends with me. And we'll, we'll have a really good time here.